So let me come to uh, small modular reactors and uh, what's happening in that in that area. What is EIL bringing to the table, and do you see that whole space taking off? Uh, so we have been uh, attempting to re-enter the nuclear sector. Decades ago, we worked for the Heavy Water Board. Mm. Uh, we uh, built up their Manuguru facilities. Uh, later on, we also supported IGCAR in some liquid sodium uh, technology. Uh, we also did the balance of plant for Kodamkulam train 1 and 2. Uh, and some other projects here and there. Also nuclear fuel complex at Kota uh, for enriching uranium. So we have been there in the sector. For the last uh, few years, we have been attempting to enter the space which will open up uh, post the nuclear liability bill pass going through, uh, particularly in small modular reactors for the private sector and the public sector. And we have been speaking to the private sector some of the private sector companies uh, who are there in the public domain, we are in touch with them to engage with them. And some of them are also keen to take us on board to do, uh, you know, uh, the seismic and geographical studies to make sure that area is safe to put up a nuclear facility. So this continued attempt and um, uh, attempt to collaborate to bring on the table the value proposition has actually resulted us in uh, getting the, uh, you know, the uh, trust and faith of NPCIL in them awarding us two um, uh, modular reactors. One is a light water reactor, one is a pressurized heavy water reactor. Again, same 220 megawatt kind of scale to 20 to 300 megawatt. And we are working on both of them. Uh, one is a conceptual design, one is a checking of an existing design such that they can be uh, transformed into an offering for the sector.